All right, guys, another day, another property home tour. If this is your first time tuning into this channel. My name is Chuck, it's with Simply Vegas. I'm a licensed real estate agent out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. So today I'm out here in the uh, southwest of the Las Vegas Valley, touring these model homes by Pulte. This is the uh, Hayford Collection. I filmed these in the past, however, the uh, reason why I'm filming this again today, it was probably like a year ago when I filmed this, but they have about three lots that's only available for sale. However, the same models here are going to be over here on the south side here. They got about 96 lots. So you have single story homes, two story homes, three story homes, up to three car garage. You have the option to go all the way up to five bedrooms. Now. We have the biggest model, which is the Shelby. This is like one of the most popular models here. Uh, this is about almost 5,000 square feet. So I'm excited to take a look at that again. But I wanted to show you guys around and what's going on. So this is going to be a gated community in the new phase here. Like I said, they have a total of about 96 homes. HOAs are going to be about $60 a month. And you're definitely going to get uh, some incentives. However, um, after these collections of homes that we do a tour on, we're probably going to start focusing on the standing inventory that they have. I literally got the list for the standing inventory uh, with uh, Pulte. They did a lot of spec builds. Uh, they have over about 300 homes and uh, the discount on it, it's unbelievable. So I'm going to start showing you some of these spec homes uh, right after you know these sets of homes that we do a video home tour on. And also, if you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, go ahead and uh, click the subscribe button. So this one is a, a single story home. It is a 2,180 square feet, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, two car garage. The base price on here is 614,900. All right, I'm gonna take it just straight back here. Now with Pulte, you're gonna have more selections and options that you can pick and choose from. Now also we did a podcast on the LV Home Experts uh, show yesterday at 4 p.m. It was uh, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you guys uh, missed this podcast, I think you guys need to check it out. I had a really great guest on the show. Uh, we talked about uh, new home builds, you know, one builder from another you know, what you get standard, the things that you should be asking for and what is common, things that you need to look out for, right? So I want you guys to check that out. So let's go back to the front of the home. Let's get the lay of the land here. Let's see what's going on. So we have luxury laminate flooring. You have the uh, nice entryway. Love the door, uh, that door right there, that glass door. It's probably about uh, 15 to $1,800 on the upgrade. Here, we have the two-car garage. Also, another thing is that, uh, real quick, I did get a new alarm system, and the alarm system I, I have is like the craziest alarm system, I, and I should probably do a vlog on that and kind of explain the alarm system I have. What's great about that alarm system, I have access to like seven cameras, my garage, my thermostat, um, and the camera system I have, I can literally hear what's going on and also talk through the cameras as well. And that was from Acoustic Designs. All right, so this is the power box here or smart panel box, as you can see. It's not very organized or clean. Uh, some of these builders will uh, give you the modem. If you guys don't know what a modem is, basically the modem right connects to your cable right your service company and it transfers it over to your router then your router basically transmits it into your internet service where it connects to your wi-fi or to your computer so think of alternating current transforms it into direct current hey how are you guys doing okay So we have office here, but you do have an option to do a bedroom. 
So what would happen here is you'll actually get the door on this side. So it's just one door. Or you can just leave this open. Uh, I would actually frame this out for the French door. So that way, um, later on, if you can turn it into a bedroom, you do have that option. Because the frame is already there. But the closet will definitely make it a little bit smaller. So we have 9 foot ceilings. You got a half inch on the uh, bull nose here. Two tone paint. I love the uh, color of this brushed gold here. Believe it or not, you can get this on Amazon for fairly cheap. So we've got a bedroom here, bedroom here, then the bathroom. Queen size bed, carpet. On this one, they did the crown. Painted it all black. Oh, not bad. Now, I noticed that some of the trims that you take a look at, this is not that brushed nickel. It's more of a shine to it. Because what happens is that manufacturer that did that um, handle, right? They don't specialize in doing the fixtures for that door. Same thing here, if we take a look, we have a gold, more, it's more like a bronze almost. Our service countertops. You got some Delta fixtures here, orange peel texture. Got our thermostat is here. Then we have our return line right above. That's a 20, 20 by 20 it looks like. And then we have another filter on this side as well. Cool little bed set, huh? All right, the room is a pretty decent size here. I'm gonna say this room is probably 10 by 11, not bad. Notice uh, that grill kind of sticks out a little bit more. It's probably that um, drywall is not set right. So they probably sheared this right here a little bit too much. So when they put the drywall, before they do that, what they're going to do is you're going to have your 2x4s or 2x6, whatever it is. But they're never straight. So what they do is they come in and they have this thin piece of cardboard, right? Because some areas of the 2x4 may be a little bit deep, right? Or it could be a little bit warped. So what they'll do is they'll shave down the 2x4. And some parts that are very deep, what they'll do is they'll shimmy it. So that way it's kind of flush, then add the drywall. But right here, you can tell it has been shimmied too much or they didn't shave this and that's the reason why this grill is floating all right let's see what we got here so we got some traverse led lights in the ceiling obviously this is a upgrade however i want to show you a, a technique where you can actually make your room right larger than it really appears, right? So this is a technique that I learned from a developer that was actually, well, he's not a developer, he's a friend that's actually building a luxury custom home. And so right now, these two rooms are actually separated. And the reason why it's separated is because number one, you have these control joints, but if you take a look at the lights, okay? You have two, four, six, right? Two, four, six, and then eight, right here, then you have for the chandelier light here. But then you have this room right here that only has four can lighting. Now, if you want this room to appear one large room, the technique when it comes to lighting 
is that you should have the lights lined up here. As you can see, the lights are not lined up, right? So you would have the lights lined up here. You would add more lights here. You would add more lights here lined up from here. And you would space it equally. So imagine having these lights on this side and you spread them out. Now this will give you appearance as this is like one large room. Very unique island, definitely like it with this peninsula. Some nice quartz. You got the dual basin sink. So funny, they always say that this is very durable, but as you can see, this tells you right away that it doesn't have the soft water. And what sucks is like Moen, right, makes this product, and this happens to like all the fixtures, um, like in faucets. Like if they have this kind of faucet, this color, they should automatically know the consumer may have a dishwasher because a lot of homes have dishwasher and the overflow valve here look at it. it's a total different color see this this is a matte black and this has a sheen on it not bad what do you guys think about the kitchen so far I like the fact that they have a window. The only thing about this home having a window and a lot of homes in Vegas, you're gonna have a six foot retaining wall and you're basically just looking outside. So I definitely would throw some like plants up there that look kind of cool. Nice cook countertop. Not your top notch brand though, it's just a whirlpool. And this one is a little bit unique. You got a 36 inch cabinet 18 inch upper and like a six inch crown there which is perfect because you can't put a 42 on here because this is only a nine foot ceiling it just won't look right and this is like a gourmet kitchen but then you got a 36 inch cubic refrigerator here this you would have to do more of a counter depth and i would literally push this thing all the way out to keep it flush because that's only a 24 inch depth. Let's take a look at your pantry. The uh, pantry is definitely very shallow. Looks like we have a thermostat here. Obviously this is going to be an upgrade for your bar station. Very creative with the uh, sconcent lighting there and the shelf with the backsplash. Okay. Let's come into the primary. Not bad for the primary. So it looks like we have a three zone for the AC unit. On here, they just did four traverse LED lights. Then we have the pennant lighting. So this was definitely an upgrade. So before they even specced out this home, they knew that they were going to add the chandelier or pennant lighting here. Not bad. Not really my style. I mean, let me know in the comments below if you guys are feeling this home. Fiberglass tub. So the doors here, or quarter of an inch, prefer three eighths. As you can see, how uh, flimsy this product is. However, I mean we're not building a two million dollar home, so as far as what you get for the price, is not bad. But I can tell you right now, with their standing inventory, that's where you're going to get a hell of a discount. 
Also, I'm going to have a link in the description below for the uh, standing inventory. So go ahead and uh, click that because this builder literally has 341 homes to be exact. And that's with all their communities. All right, let's go see the backyard. See what kind of air conditioning unit that they have. Man, they got a six foot slide. And I don't like these almond color. I like that bright white. I think it pops more. Lot size is probably about 5,000 square feet. Sun exposure is on this side. So you're going to get a lot of wear and tear on this side of the house for sure. AC units on the other side. We have a gate here. Now one thing um, you'll notice is that, do you see this line right here? Because this is where the rain runs off. It's nice to have a gutter so that way you don't get this line. In addition to that, eventually what happens is when it rains, the water's going to splash on your stucco. You're going to get this discoloration and it just looks nasty. So it looks like we got one AC unit. These are a uh, Lennox. All right. Overall, I think this is just a standard home, but it has a lot of upgrades as far as like, you know, cosmetics and stuff like that. But on a scale of 1 to 10, let me know what your thoughts are about this property. Like I said, this is uh, they're about to build this in their second phase. Or not even the second phase, their new community. The community hasn't been open yet. Alright guys, uh, let me know what your thoughts are. If you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel, just go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you guys want to check out all our video home tours, we have over 1,800 video home tours. Just go ahead and click on this video right here. If you guys are in the market and you want to purchase a home and want to get started, visit lvhomeexperts.com. Scan this QR code right now. Also, if you guys just love real estate and want to get into real estate, go ahead and subscribe to our second channel. Until next time, peace.